Hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So today we want to talk a little bit about um, a request that we keep getting uh, or we keep seeing from a lot of different places and that's show me your chicken coop, your housing for your egg layers, that type of question and, and how we keep our egg laying chickens um, housed and where they lay their eggs and all that kind of thing. So. Um, we're going to show that, we're going to feature that here uh, on today's video and talk a little bit about what we use, how we built it, how we came about it, and where the idea came from. So if you saw one of our other videos talking about our egg layers, and I'll post a link to that video here right now, we talked about this. This is the John Siskovich style chicken tractor. We use these primarily for our meat chickens once they get out on pasture and having daily rotation and daily moves for those. And we'll do more videos on our meat chickens later on as the season goes along. We've got some meat chickens in the brooder right now. They're going to come out. But today we're going to talk about this as our egg laying mobile. And it may not look like much right now, but this is the foundation that we use to build our um, egg house. And so we're going to show you that here. I've done another video on it um, about a year ago. The filming on it's terrible, the audio on it, audio on it is not very good, <clears throat> and we filmed it in portrait mode, not landscape, so it's not, a very, it's not a very good video, so we've improved a little bit on that. So we're going to walk over here, take a look at our egg laying chickens, and look at the, uh, at the chicken coop we've got for those. Hang around. We're also going to talk a little bit about eggs toward the end of the video. I um, want to share a little information about our eggs with you, so stay tuned. All right, before we walk out and, and look at the finished product, let's talk a little bit about um, the frame or the foundation that we built this egg mobile on. Um, when we started farming, we were kind of scavenging around for different things that we thought that we could use and things that would come in handy and you know tools that we could we could put to use here on the farm. <clears throat> One of the things that we bought was two old cotton trailers, or I think that's what they are, is cotton trailers. Um, this is one. Um, the other one uh, we, we did build the egg mobile on but the frame is almost identical to this <clears throat> this frame is about three and a half feet long by um, I think it's about ten excuse me three and a half feet wide by about ten feet long straight axle a couple old tires and wheels on it nothing fancy um, we picked these up for really really cheap um, the reason that I built the um, egg mobile on the other frame is the standard holes um, these right here where we're much nicer and much more standardized <clears throat> than what's on this one this one's got a couple of old metal welded uh, standards on it so we picked the better of the frames the frame is better I'll show you the tires and wheels on it the, the tire on one of the wheels on that other one the treads peeling off but it holds air and it moves and so it's fine <clears throat> but the point being with a little bit of creativity you really can build these things out of a little bit of, of anything I've seen them built out of just standard trailers I've seen folks build wooden frames with axles and wheels and um, not have a metal frame but they've just fashioned their own frame I've seen folks build these out of old boat trailers an old boat trailer works fine um, you just got to do a little bit of, you got to be kind of creative in how you uh, put the thing together and how you build it. Long story short, if you're interested in egg chickens and you want to move them around, you can do it. You just you need to be a little bit creative, search around on the internet, watch videos like ours. Um, like other folks that have done this kind of thing, there's a lot of great ideas out there, a lot of smart folks. Um, and there's a lot of different ways to do this. So this is the foundation and the frame that we used um, to build our egg mobile on. This so. is our, we call it the egg mobile. Um, this is where we house our uh, laying chickens. And real quick, um, this is their, their coop or their house. And then we keep them inside of some Premier One poultry netting. And we've got three of the 100 foot sections um, that we surround the, uh, the coop with. And that gives the chickens plenty of space to roam around, scratch for bugs and worms and all that kind of thing. Again, this was built on a cotton trailer and we uh, fastened the frame to the trailer using the standard holes. 
um, and then basically built a square structure uh, onto that cotton trailer um, with just a little bit of a slant roof. It's not got much of a slant, but it's got a little bit of a slant. Um, all this was made out of uh, materials that are easily easily purchased at your local um, building supply store. A lot of the stuff here for us came from Lowe's. And then there's some stuff here that's scavenged that, you know, was just stuff that we used that was laying around the farm. So overall length on the uh, Eggmobile is uh, about 12 feet. Um, on the inside, uh, it's a little over six feet tall, so I can stand up in it without any problem. Um, and then it ends up being about six feet wide. So we're about 12 feet long, not quite six feet, maybe it's five feet, I forget exactly, but um, it's, you know, fairly narrow. Um, we did buy an old, or I picked up an old, man, you guys are laying eggs out here, what y'all doing? We've got a, just a trailer jack that's attached to the front uh, for a stand. And when we're ready to move this thing, and I'll post a little clip of us uh, actually moving it uh, when we moved it to this spot. Um, So that's us moving the moving the trailer with the tractor. We just drop the we just drop a pin down through the uh, tongue on this back of the trailer, or excuse me, back of the tractor, and then uh, just roll it wherever we want it. So it works out really nice. Backside at the top, um, we did leave some space um, and put some chicken wire um, up there uh, for plenty of ventilation. So that works out really, really good for ventilation. And then on the back side, we've got a, got a, a door. Actually, there's two doors. We've got a people door, and then we also have a chicken door down at the bottom. So the chickens can come in and out, don't have to open the door. And then when we're ready to move these chickens, the night before we move them, <clears throat> Sometimes we'll come out, just close the chicken door and close them up in there, hook to the tractor first thing in the morning and roll these, roll these babies forward. Also on the outside, we have some flip down doors. Purpose in the flip down doors is so that we can get eggs and not have to go in the coop. So we got two flip down doors. Messing with her. We've got two foot down doors, and we can just grab the eggs without ever having to go into, into the coop, which is really, really handy in the afternoon. I just run out here, drop the door down, and uh, grab the eggs up. There they are. And you can see they're making good use of the net, good use of the nest boxes right now. I've got two old galvanized nest boxes. I think one of them is a one of them's a ten hole, and the other one's a twelve. Um, so we've got twenty two nest boxes. We keep, you know, right now there's around ninety five egg chickens out here, and uh, quite frankly, they don't use all of them. There's a you know eight or ten of them that they use pretty regular and that's basically all they use so flip down doors are really nice uh, and you access the eggs from the outside and never have to get in so let's walk around and look at the inside of the coop the inside of this egg mobile and uh, kind of show you what we've got going on in there
So again, this is our door. And we've got a trap door for the chickens. Um, on the rope. We can just undo the hook. It ain't perfect. I'm not a problem. So we can close the door. So inside the coop, we uh, put what we call a poop through floor. So we just use some pickets um, for uh, like your deck. Put those down about, uh, I think we put them an inch, inch and a half apart. And so we got a poop through floor. We still get some manure buildup on some of the um, braces for the chickens sleep. Um, Cause you know, chickens poo where they sleep. And we built a roost in here. And again, we can house, you know, we can house about a hundred birds in here. It's kind of tight, but it, but it works. And then the nesting boxes, we can flip those roosts up at night. We don't allow our chickens to sleep in the roost in the nest boxes because chickens do poo where they sleep. So we don't, we don't let them sleep in there. Another feature that we added here is we have two We have two of these 50 pound hanging feeders from Duncan's Poultry. Um, and so we keep a little feed in there for the birds, for them to, uh, to snack on. So fill those up every, and they're loud. Y'all like a bunch of politicians. Yep, 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 but you ain't really saying much. Yeah, time to talk now. So we keep a couple of these feeders in here for the birds. We've also got some hooks up top. So we can hang feeders and waters in here if we need to. We primarily let them forage for what they want and then keep the feeders in the coop for them. So. Then on water, what we do for water for these birds, we run a hose and we've got a bowl. You can pick these up at the feed store, cracks the fly use about anything watch out girls we've just got a bowl with a float valve in it and a hose to it self-filling water we don't have to fill water every day it works out great we'll dump it every every couple days and make sure it's nice and clean the bottom out one needs dumping right now but uh self self-filling water it's a chore saver and a time saver another thing we'll talk about real quick and we'll do a full video on this is is our eggs and on our eggs we don't you know, we don't let our chickens sleep in the sleep in the nest boxes. Um, again, because chickens will will defecate where they sleep, and so if they're sleeping in the nest boxes, then the nest boxes are getting poopy. But this is an egg that I just walked up and picked up out of the out of a nest box, and it is perfectly clean. So um, that's why we have clean eggs. Is unlike a factory farm. Um, and I can post a picture of, of kind of what those factory farms look like. Um, unlike those chickens that are in those kinds of conditions, um, our chickens, you know, don't sleep in their nest boxes, and so we get clean eggs so we don't have to wash them. And then, you know, our birds are out on pasture. You know, they're out on the grass scratching around for bugs and worms and, you know, acting like chickens and doing what chickens are supposed to do, and that makes a world of difference in the quality of egg and quality of life for the bird and you know it's it's better for the environment and better for everybody so that's kind of how we how we view that so i think that's going to do it for today's video just wanted to show off our egg mobile and what it looks like and, and how it's put together again we see lots of comments and questions on different uh facebook groups and reddit and places like that folks saying you know show me your egg mobile show me how you have your egg laid chickens thought that it would be, uh, you know, good to do a little better quality video than what we've done in the past on that. So, um, if you've got more questions or want to want to know something specific on measurements or something, please reach out to me. Um, leave me a comment below, uh, or you can send us an email, uh, share it with the Farms at gmail.com, and I'll be glad to respond to that and, and give you more detail. Talk to you on the phone, and if you have any questions about the egg mobile, we'll be glad to answer that. So. We appreciate you watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Um, that's really helping us out a bunch. We've gained a ton of subscribers, and we really appreciate that. 
but hit that subscribe button click that bell so you know whenever we're posting new videos um, if you've got a comment leave us a comment down below that really you know um, we enjoy communicating with folks and find out where folks are from and learn a little bit about what, uh, what you guys are doing and uh, again we appreciate you watching it means a whole lot to us we'll see you on the next video thanks Thank mm -hmm. you.